Why did they never make a sitcom about these two? It practically rates itself. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Star Wars Transformers Millennium Falcon. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we've got Han and Chewie. Up top here, we have Han and Chewie and the Falcon. On this side of the box, we have some obligatory product shots on the other side of the box we have some more obligatory product shots on the bottom a rundown of what's in the box words and stuff and things on the back of the box we have more obligatory product shots you can see how it transforms and things and stuff stuff and things bloody 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 and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have the Millennium Falcon. Um, now, just to clear up a bit of a misconception, um, when I reviewed the uh, Darth Vader a while back, I had a couple people in the comment section saying, oh, you're reviewing old toys. Um, no, these are not old toys. Uh, these are new figures. It's an old concept, but these are new toys. These just came out. These are new molds from the old crossover figures, but um, anyway, now that we got that cleared up, here we have the Millennium Falcon, the spacecraft of Han Solo, and um, I think they did a really good job on this. There's just a ton of detail and some really nice paintwork going on here. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see lots of detail and pretty nicely painted. Make the Falcon look all, you know, kind of dirty and dingy. Like it's been through some scraps. But yeah, look at that. Tons of detail going on there. And it looks great. You got the cockpit section right there. Again, lots of detail. Lots of detail going on all throughout the figure. And some nice paintwork as well. Got the dish up top. Very cool. Very nicely done, just really, really nicely detailed. The back section here, again, tons of detail. And some nice paintwork going on. You got the spots of red throughout. You also get some spots of gray as well. At the back, there you have the underside. Uh, Han's weapons store right up top, as you can see, and Chewie's weapon stores on the bottom. As you can see, there are five landing gear here to keep the Falcon up when you want to display it. But yeah, really, really well done in my opinion. And for comparison, here it is with Lord Vader. As you can see, oh, they look together. So there you go, whoosh. And the Falcon does include two little mini figures of Han Solo and Chewbacca. And at first we'll take a look at Han. Right here, you can see it's, it's a little figure, but pretty nicely painted though. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And articulation wise, oh, the head doesn't do anything. The arms will move together so you can go, yay! And the hips are just on a hinge that move forward, move back a little bit. That's all the articulation you get there. So there you have Han, and here we have Chewie. You can see the only paint on him is just on his, uh, his little strap there. A bit of silver. The articulation is the same. You just get the arms that move up and down. You can do that. And legs can move forward and back. So, there you have Han, hey, there you have Han and Chewie together. And they can fly in the Falcon if you want. If Chewie will stand, you stand Chewie. 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 Now for Han, you're going to uh, just open the cockpit here, just crack that open, and you just get him sitting down, and you just kind of lay him in here. He doesn't actually like lock in anywhere, so he's just kind of rattling around, but he sits in there, you close it up, and there you go. And for Chewie, you want to open up this top hatch here, which is pretty secure, and you just take Chewie and you just lay him down, like that, <laughs> and you close it up. And he could take a nap 
while they're flying around, apparently. But there you go. So yeah, that is basically it for the Falcon itself. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing we need to do is we need to remove some stuff here. We need to remove the dish here. So just undo that. You want to remove this weapon assembly here. Come under here, remove Chewie's weapon. Put that off to the side. And we'll just flip in the landing gears here and just show off the bottom side too. Again, lots of detail. Lots of paint. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to take this front section here and push it down like that. And that will allow you to then separate the two halves like so. And we'll put the front half off to the side for now. And we will work on the back half. And this will be Chewbacca. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take this section and just bring it out and bring it down like so that reveals the head and this will become his chest piece these side pieces right here you just take and bring them up bring them up like so and then we take the bottom section here and we just pull that down and extend the legs out this section right here you just want to bring out on this double hinge and that will sit on the knee like that. Once you do that, you just flip out the toe. This panel right here will just flip in, rotate at the thigh. They have a leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. Just to bring that, this one's a little stiffer. There we go. Bring that over, flip out the foot, close that up, rotate, and they have the legs all done. And now moving on to the upper body. We take these sections here, just bring it up, bring it back, and bring this up, up, back, up. And these little panels here, you just flip open. There's some detail in there, picked out in red. And you just open that up, and you got that done. And now for the arms, you just extend them down like so. The hips on mine are kind of loose, and I don't like that, but no. Extend the arms, and... Flip out the hands. They have normal done. Stop doing the splits, Chewy. Stop it. Stop it. You're a warrior, not a break dancer. Stop it. Flip the hands, Chewy. Chewy. <sighs> Wookies. Am I right? Am I right? Anyway. So anyway, once you have that done, there you have Chewbacca in his robot. Mode and yeah, I, I like Chewie. Chewie is my favorite of the two design wise. He just looks like a big jacked up warrior, and I really dig that. It's getting close here, so we can take a look at that head sculpt. I like the gold there for the crest, and some nice paintwork there for the top of the head. Paint on his nose, looks cool. You can see little Chewbacca in the chest now, piloting the mech. And not too shabby, not too shabby. I dig it. You got some gold in there as well. Big old feet. Some nice paints going down the sides. That brown paint going down the sides and the back. Now articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. So you got that wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Can look up a little bit, down a little bit. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can go in and out at this hinge as well as the transformation hinge if you need that for anything. You have bicep rotation, 90 degrees of bend out to the elbow. You do have this inward joint as well due to transformation, if that serves any purpose for you. Uh, the only wrist articulation is just the inward movement, again, due to transformation. Uh, you have waist rotation, legs kind of go forward, about that far, back, that far, outward. You can do more than the full splits. Thigh rotation, slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet. It can move up a little bit and can move down a lot due to transformation. So you got that going on. And we can give him his weapon right here. You just open these up like so. Flip down the handle. There you have his weapon. Put it into his hand. There you go. You can pew pew bang bang. Pew pew bang bang. So there you have 
Chewbacca. And now moving on to the front section here, which will become Han Solo. So what you're going to do here is just take this panel, flip that up, take this section here, just bring it back, bring it down, and this will tab over that section like so. Once you do that, you take this cockpit section here and you rotate it around. So all this gets straightened out. You then pop this section up right here. Bring it out to the side. This little section right here, you want to flip around like that. And then you take the section and rotate it out to the side. And that will just tab in right there. Once you do that, you just want to take this whole section here. Just kind of bring it down so it unlocks. And bring all this up. And then you want to take this section here and you want to open it up like that. And then you can swing this back. Once you do that, you can take this and close this back up like that. Just kind of get the arms up and out of the way. Same thing on the other side. Just bring that back. Open this up. Come on. There you go. Open that up. Bring that to the back. Close that back up. Let's get the arms up and out of the way. Once you do that, you want to take this section here. You want to bring it up. Take this panel. Fold that in. Fold this in, and there's a little tab that will just go right up in here. Just tab that in to make the chest. Take these panels here, flip them in to fill in those gaps, and you got that done. Now for the legs, take these sections here, flip them up, flip them up, and then you just bring the legs down, rotate them at the thigh, flip out the heel, come in here and flip out the toes, which can be a little hard to get. There we go. They lock into place. And they have a leg all done. Second fast, just like the first. On top, the leg here. You see, there's a little, little tab that goes in right there. Bring it down. Rotate. Bring it out. Bring the toes down. And they got the legs all done. And now he just looks like he's flexing. Anyway, beefcake. And you just rotate the arms around. Straighten them out. Flip out his hands. They got an arm all done. Second vest, just like the first. Rotate. Bring out. Flip out the hand. Bring the arm down. Bring the, ar bring the arm down. So I was trying to say. Did my tongue stop working? And what? And his knees are a little loose. That's one thing I don't like about this set is some of the joints are a tad bit on the loose side. It's really the leg joints. But I think we have everything done. Get those straightened out. And there you have Han Solo in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good too. You know, he doesn't have a bad design, but I just like the design of, of the chewy mech uh, a bit more. But yeah, it, it looks pretty, pretty cool. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. You can see some nice silver paint there on the mouth. You got green for the eyes, you got some golden green right there on the forehead. Looks pretty good. Got some black, got the blue, brown and silver in there. Again, it's big old feet. He's got a big cannon on his arm there. And he does have a bit of a backpack going on. You can see those like jet thrusters or something to help him fly, but hey. Not too bad. Now articulation wise, his head is also on a ball joint, so he can get all wiggly waggly wiggly waggly. Uh, can't really look up, can't look down a bit. Head can do a full 360. Uh, the arms can do a 360. They are on that kind of angle, as you can see, so his arms will always swing away. But uh, can do a full 360. Of course, if these parts weren't in the way, arms can move in and out very freely. Now you do have bicep rotation. 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow, slightly under 90 degrees, actually. And again, the only wrist articulation is just inward movements due to the transformation. You do not have any waist movement, unfortunately. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do more than the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have full range of movement there due to the way it transforms because there's nothing blocking it. So you get a full knee bend there. Um, you can move the heels down if you need to and the toes will just move up. But they do lock into place. Yeah. 
you that click there. So when you unclick it, it's it's pretty loose. So might not help as far as uh, supporting any poses go, but it's something that moves. Now you can take the uh, the dish right here, and this will just plug in right back there, like so, for storage. And you can give him his guns. You can give him one gun. You can give him both guns. It's totally up to you what you want to do. I'll give him both guns just because. Let's take a closer look here at his blasters. Pretty nice. And you can just take this bit right here, and this will just plug in to his back like that. And we'll give him his guns. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And there you go. So, now we have that done, we'll bring in Chewy, and now you can see them both together. They look good, they look good together, I like these, I like them. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here they are with Lord Vader. So you can see how they scale with one another. And here they are with the old crossovers, Yoda, that I reviewed ages ago. You can see how oh, they look together. So, there you have that. Actually, one more here they are with uh, Titans Return, Voyager Alpha Trion, who's like the Obi-Wan of the Transformers universe there. As you can see, you know, kind of small Voyagers, you know, a little smaller than Voyager size. So there you go! So there you have Han Solo and Chewbacca. One thing I forgot to mention with uh, Chewbacca here, as far as the articulation goes, he does have this joint right here that allows his shoulders to move forward and back, so you get some extra articulation there in the arms, but yeah. There you have Han and Chewie. Um, the Falcon itself looks gorgeous. I love the way it looks. I think they did a great job as far as the Millennium Falcon goes. Uh, the individual figures are, are pretty cool. I do like the designs. Um, I like Chewie's design a lot better than Han's, but they're both pretty well done. Mine do suffer from some loose joints in the legs. Han and Chewie both have some loose hips going on there. I mean, it, it's a fixable thing, but still kind of sucks. Quality-wise, um, they do not feel, you know, cheap or fragile or flimsy in any way. I mean, besides the, the loose hips, I mean, they, they are quite sturdy. Transformation is pretty smooth and enjoyable, and, you know, all in all, I, I really dig these. I really do. I don't know if Takara is going to be planning any more of these figures, but I, I kind of hope they do. I hope they keep going with this, because I actually, I'm, I'm really quite digging them. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other crossover figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. And I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Star Wars Transformers Millennium Falcon, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, boom in your face. All right, Chewie, when we get in there, just let me do all the talking. Well, because they can't understand you. Oh, that's real mature, real mature. Hey, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? I know. <laughs>